Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How are you? Fine. You? I am doing great. Very happy to see you. I'm Very happy, happy to see you. everybody here. Dennis, what a nice hair. Thank you a lot. Yeah, your hair looks free today. That's so nice. <laughs> Mr. It's on, it's on curly. Yeah, it is curly, right? And it is nice because many people who have curly hair, they say, no, I don't like it or this and that. But if you like it and you enjoy having your curly hair, it's fantastic. So it looks nice. Mr. Alejandro, welcome. Noemi, Iris, Miguel Angel, welcome to your class. It's a pleasure to have all of you here and all the ones that are going to connect now. Welcome. How was your day, people? Stress is I am fine. Uh, yeah. Um, what I say? Uh, yesterday, I not connected to class or I went to uh, my pet, uh, she was pet. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, the um, 8 a.m., uh, 8 p.m., went through my home, uh, um, no connection, in, uh, internet. Um, uh, today, I'm a Kaimi for uh, return my, my pet at 8 a.m., approximately. Uh, uh, very interesting uh, to travel um uh traffic traffic the traffic uh huh the traffic yeah um I am returned for um two p.m. approximately um <sighs> actually I am um 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 con sueño como es yeah. um, I am sleepy you say I am sleeping yeah 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 así que I am sorry for not connect me uh, yesterday. And uh, yeah, um, I'm saying uh Paola for my 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 uh, progress to, to every day. Uh, uh, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it, it was a, it was a hard day then. And what does it have? What was the problem with your pet? Ah, uh, uh, tumor. Uh, uh, it has a tumor. Person. It yeah, has yeah, a yeah, tumor. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Así que le oh. Que operar. Yeah. oh my god she went through surgery uh -huh. oh yeah, my the, goodness yesterday uh all day uh, examines ex, ex, uh, they were they were examining the dog yeah yeah, yeah. uh result out of, of um exam uh wait for um deposit uh, my pet uh, uh today, oh my god uh, uh, yeah 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 uh, today I came in at 8, 8 a.m. Uh, uh, approximately. Yeah. Salí corriendo, la verdad. Oh, uh, my God. Run. Yeah, yeah. Uh, solo okay. eso. <laughs> so you, you ran from here to there with your pet. Yeah. It is yeah. it is kind of complicated with the animals that in some cases we say like, no, but it's like it, it is going to be quick. But then it gets complicated and then you have to be with them and you have to take them. So. But the good thing is that he, uh, I mean, it got the surgery and hopefully it's going to be better soon. So Francisco, we understand, but you see, we're going to have a nice class for you not to fall asleep. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> welcome. Well, oh, se me olvidó. Yeah. Hello, yep. teacher. Hello, teacher. <laughs> so you, are not, you are not that sleepy, you see? Ya ven que no está tan dormido. You are, you are focused on the class. Hay so, que poner atención a la clase. No, that's fantastic. Okay, so my dear students, it is, uh, or today is our class number six. We are going to be working on a little bit of practice for uh, past simple and past continuous. We are going to be also checking on the book. We are going to be checking the manual. And for sure, we are going to finish working. Yesterday, we were checking on the platform. We were checking on a uh, the different uh, readings, right? We were working on the readings yesterday and uh, we were working on the exercises as well in the platform. So 
We are going to start today with a little bit of writing, right? We're going to start with a little bit of writing. And let me show you my screen. First of all, welcome to all the ones that have just connected, okay? I am going to show my screen for all of you. And what we have here, it's a little reading about Vietnam, right? And it says that Vietnam is located in Southeast Asia. It has a population of over 90 million people. Vietnamese is the official language. The country has many beautiful beaches, high mountains, and busy cities, right? Rice is grown in Vietnam, and then you can continue reading about Vietnam. But I am not going to ask you to write about Vietnam because it's not a place that we know. We are going to write about something that we know. I need you to write a little introduction for me about your country. Imagine that I am not from El Salvador, that I am from, I don't know, from Australia or from Canada, from France, from any country. But you are going to write a little introduction for me and you are going to do it in your notebook, right? On your notebook, you are going to write like this little letter for me and you are going to say, for example, dear Natty, right? And you're going to start writing the letter. You will say, welcome to El Salvador. That will be your introduction. Welcome to El Salvador. And here you are going to start writing. Right? You are going to tell me a little bit about El Salvador. Important things that you would like me to know about your country, right? But I need you to do it right now. And I need you to, um, to write it on your notebook. Right, or if you want, you can write it straight on the WhatsApp chat, or you can write it in the chat of the class. Okay, but I need to have a way to check it. Mr. Francisco, yes? Sorry, teacher, not his name or is. Um, That's other... my name. <laughs> That's my name. I'm sorry. <laughs> you are writing to me. Dear Nati, the letter no, is for I me. I am sorry. I am sorry. <laughs> um, Como that, le un poco that's, sueño, lo siento, that's, lo that's my sister. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <Thanks, teacher. laughs> yeah, somos dos. Está Teacher Evelyn y Teacher Nati. Ah, teacher okay, teacher Evelyn is the one that makes the exams. And Teacher Nati is the nice one. <laughs> I'm <kidding>. Okay. <laughs> there you go. So the letter is going to be for me. But I need you to write it either in the chat of Zoom or in the WhatsApp chat. Okay but I need to have a way for us to check because we are going to grab that and we're going to check together, okay? So today we are going to analyze a little bit of writing, okay? It is important that we know how to speak. It is important that we know how to listen, how to understand, but it's more important that you know how to write correctly, okay? So something short, but meaningful about El Salvador. I am going to give you five minutes for writing and like two or three minutes for sending, okay? So let's work on this right now. A little introduction about El Salvador. Okay, important things sure. that you would like me to know. Yes, Isaias? Uh, I hear uh, we can we can write about uh, another another country that is in El Salvador. We, you can write if you know about other country that is not El Salvador and you have facts and things that you know about that country, go ahead and do it, okay? Okay, thank you. Which country are you going to write about? Argentina. Okay, good. Okay, so I will go to Argentina as well. Very nice. Yeah, if you want to take me to another country that you know, perfect. write it in the WhatsApp chat or in the chat in Zoom, please. Okay, you look very concentrated. That's very nice.
three more minutes for writing. Okay, remember when you have it, send it on the chat in Zoom or in the chat in WhatsApp. Thank you, Erika. We got it already. Excuse me, Miss. Uh, I have to write in the chat, or I gonna I gonna uh, tell that I've written in my notebook. No, you have to send it on the chat, either on the chat of WhatsApp or on the chat in, here in Zoom, so we can check on the writing. Right? We're going to be checking on the writing. That's what we're going to do. So write it here or write it on WhatsApp. But either way.
Okay, I am going to start checking the ones that you sent on the chat here in Zoom. And it says, dear Nati, welcome Welcome to, in that case, welcome to Nicaragua. Welcome to, with O, right? Welcome to Nicaragua. This is a beautiful country. You can visit the volcano in Leon City. And, okay, let me just write it here. I will, I will write it here. Okay. This is the first one, right? It says, welcome to Nicaragua, right? And it says, it's welcome to with O, right? In this case, we need to be careful, right? In this one, welcome to Nicaragua. And here we also have, and let me just make it, maybe I can move it a little bit here. And I will erase this one. Okay, and I will keep this one here. Sorry. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Two. And yeah, welcome to Nicaragua. Here we have it. Don't worry. That's why we are, that's why I wanted to do this. So we can actually check on the different mistakes, right? Welcome to Nicaragua, right? In this one, this is the only thing that we need to change. This is a beautiful country. You can visit the volcano in Leon City. Can you make snowboarding in this volcano? In this case, it's you can. You you can make snowboarding, right? But I uh, know some some boarding. What is that? Ah, sand, sand, sand. I got it. Can you? Yes, uh, question. Right? That would be a question. Yes. And it's yeah. sand boarding. Okay. Porque es este patinaje en, en arena, verdad? Yes. In, it in it is volcano. Sand boarding, right? Sand boarding in this volcano. You will have a volcano day. So in this case, this is the only change that we need to make. And for the rest, the paragraph was good, okay? Very Thank good you, job, teacher. very good job. Let's get another one. Let's get another one. Yes. And here we have, a, yes? I'm late at the class. I... Oh, hello, Jenny, how are you? Okay, we are, we are writing a little paragraph about uh, El Salvador. And let's see. Oh, first of all, we have a little message from Victoria that says that uh, you need to send the comprobante de entrega de manual up to tomorrow. Mañana es la fecha límite. ¿Quiénes ya están pendientes? Ya lo envié. Alejandro José, Alicia Guadalupe, Andrea, Andrea Geraldine, Andrea Michelle, Brian Isaac, Denis Isaías, Daisy Carolina, Dina Elizabeth, Eric Ernesto, Francisco Alberto, ¡Ay! media clase no lo ha mandado, Iris Regina. Yo Jessica... ya lo envié. Ok, very good. Jessica Yanet, Maritza Isabel, Nadia Isolina, en Ronald Antonio. Si alguien ya lo envió, pues ya, tranquilo, vea. Y si no lo han enviado, hay que enviarlo, vea, es importante. Okay, and let me check another one. I have another one here from Erica. Let's check on this one, right? The one with Erica. Erica says, welcome to El Salvador, okay? What we are doing right now, Jenny, is that we are writing about our country, right? Imagine that I am visiting El Salvador and I am a tourist, right? So you are receiving me with this little letter explaining me what are the things that I can do here in the country. Okay, that's the idea. Okay. And this one says, hello, welcome to El Salvador. It is a very small but beautiful country. It has very nice places that you can visit like Cerro Verde, Pital, Cotepeque Lake, museum, beaches. You can have, right? That's the only mistake. You can have a lot of fun, you. Okay. And mistakes that we can take about, um, Spelling, right? Here you say it is a small but very beautiful country. Here you can, you don't need the comma, you only need the period. It has very nice places that you can visit, like Dos Puntos, right? Mm -hmm. Cerro Verde, right here, like Cerro Verde. Remember that Cerro Verde is a proper name, so it has to be with capital letter. Cerro Verde, Pital is a proper name as well. Cuatepeque Lake, museums in plural because we have many beaches. And you, you can have a I lot of fun. <laughs> good job, very good job. Okay. It was nice, it was a nice paragraph. Okay, let's get another one. Someone else, let's see. On WhatsApp, I only have two. Hmm. What about on, 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 sorry, on the chat, I only have two, but let's check on WhatsApp. Chan, 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 veamos. 
Ah, oh, I have many in, in the chat. That's so nice. Let me get it. Okay, on the chat, I have many, many, many paragraphs. So on the chat in WhatsApp, I am going to check it and I am going to stop this one here. Oh, I have another one here. Great, from uh, Regina. Let me share this one before I go with the ones in WhatsApp. Thank you very much. Here, this one says, okay, about Regina. There we go. It is Regina. Hola, <laughs> hola, hola, hello. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, it says holo, holo. <laughs> holo, teacher. It's the, meet, it's the meeting, teacher. Oh, oh okay. yeah, <laughs> sí. <laughs> like that's why I say holo, holo. <laughs> holo, my dear Nati, that's cool, it's cool. We were waiting for her with great joy and eagerness. Okay, in this case, when we say, my dear Nati, right, you are referring to me. And that's okay. We were waiting, it's like to estuvimos, or in this case, we are, we are, we are waiting for you, okay, because you are waiting for me. You are waiting for you in this case here. Let me just change the color of this one. We are waiting for you because you are writing for me, okay? La carta es para mí. You're waiting for you with great joy and eagerness. In these moments, we will take you to the hotel and then you will have breakfast with the executives of the companies. Hey, nice. <laughs> to continue, okay, with the executives of the companies, period, right? Aquí le ponemos puntito. To continue, to continue without the S, right? Uh, to continue with you, will give us to finish. Okay, let's organize this one. To continue uh, here, we, okay, I will take this one uh, because we have to continue and to finish. So that's not possible, right? To continue, we will uh, have lunch. You can say we will have lunch. We will have lunch at the beach. Is not on the beach. You say we will have lunch at the beach in Sonte with our executives, right? This is not necessary. In this case, the sentence will be better if you say to continue or to finish the day, we will have lunch at El Sonte Beach. Okay, we will have lunch at El Sonte Beach because you have the name first and then the place. We will have lunch at El Sonte Beach with our executives. Right? So that would be the best way to, to actually change that part. I have another one on the chat, another volunteer. Let me see. I have one from Brian. Very good. Let's analyze Brian. Let's see. Here. There we go. Okay. And let me just move this one here. It says, Dear Nati, welcome to El Salvador. And it says, let me move it here. Here in this nice country, there are a lot of beautiful places where you can go to visit and explore its culture. Okay, here we put period, right? And then we do capital. The most famous places are all of the beaches. Are all the beaches, right? You don't need all of, say all the beaches. They have many visitors and amazing mountains and volcanoes. Do you have mountains and volcanoes at the beach? Yes, no. Uh, mm, there are some places, but uh, I forgot to, to, to avoid the connection between beaches and mountains. Very good. <laughs> yeah, I, I noticed that. I noticed very, that. Very good job. You see, it is nice when you actually spot your own mistakes. And it says, the most famous places are the beaches. They have many visitors. They have many visitors. And then you stop, right? Or, or you can say, they, are, they have many visitors and amazing views. You can say, they have many visitors and amazing views. It's just like the landscapes, right? Here you can say, we also have, we also have mountains and volcanoes. 
right? And then you stop here. We also have mountains and volcanoes, period, right? Okay, ah, my goodness, there you go. Another thing that is good, okay? Another thing that it's good in this country is its typical food. Here, the good is not necessary to have capital. In this country is its typical food, typical food. It's delicious, you say. And if you want to emphasize, you can do this. It's delicious. I hope you can visit us soon. Take care. Okay, that's it. And it was a matter of changing just a little bit of punctuation and it was good. Thank you, Mr. Brian, for your paragraph. It was very nice and well done. Okay, okay. nice. That was very good. And you, you feel like on the spot, it's like, I know que no el mío. <laughs> it's okay. It is, it is good. It is good because we are actually learning, right? We are actually learning from every single thing that you sent. And in some cases, it's good to stop. And when you, when you do this, it is not like, ah, yeah, teacher, si yo escribo y escribo bien. But we need to be very careful at the moment of writing the paragraphs, right? So that's why I, I really like to take from the week one day for writing because it's necessary, right? It is necessary for you to, to actually check on what you are doing and how you are doing it, okay? And let me see. No sé si habían tenido el chance que les revisaran su escritura así de esta manera en sus clases. No. No, no teacher. It, it is necessary. No. <laughs> Solo lo mandábamos, perfecto. No, pero enviábamos. Y, y, y quedaba en el limbo. <ríe> right, quedaba en el limbo, como qué pasó con mi, con mi. Con sí, lo hice bien o no, o sea, sabíamos. Yeah, in many of the cases we, we don't really know. We don't really know uh, what's going on, right? So, on WhatsApp, uh, I am not going to share the screen on WhatsApp may, because it might be it might be something like for the copyright, etc. and things, but I am going to read it. If you can go to the chat on WhatsApp, I have the first one that is from, chun, 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 let me see, Mr. Eric Linares. Okay, let's go and check on this one. Okay, the first one is from Eric. Okay, ahí ven la importancia de ponerle su nombre al chat. Y dice, Dear Nati, welcome to El Salvador, which is a place where you can find some places interesting to visit. <laughs> okay which is a place where you can find some places, okay? In El Salvador, you can find many good places to visit. Let me see if I can copy it. I think that would be better if I can copy them. So we can actually keep on, on, on checking. Yeah, it is really Yo necessary. Le puse el nombre, pero no sé si lo hice correctamente, la verdad. We are going to check it, don't <laughs> worry. We are going to check it right now. Aquí lo revisamos. We will. I mean, I like to do it. I like to check it. It is better. Okay, let's check on Eric's. Okay, and here we go. And let me just move it around. And I think I can make it a little bit bigger. And maybe the letter a little bit smaller. Hey, Chalchuapa. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, can you see this one? Yes. And it says, okay, Mr. <coughs> Eric, let's check. <laughs> hey, Eric, okay, dele teacher. Kill it. <laughs> and then you go, welcome to El Salvador, which is a place where you can find some places interesting to visit. Okay. In this case, when you want to be a specific, you can say, welcome to El Salvador. And you can say here, because you already mm -hmm. mentioned the country, you say here, you can find many, because there are not some, there are many. And you say many, and then you use the adjective, many interesting, many interesting Place. places to visit, to visit. okay? okay. It is better, right? Because you organize the idea better. I would like you to know the different touristic places that my little country has. Okay, here we are kind of redundant with the, with the first sentence because you say like, El Salvador has many beautiful places to visit. 
I would like you to visit the little places that my country has. But it's good. I mean, you are flowering the language. In Spanish, Spanish is very flowered. And we love to say like, es que esa pequeña, hermosa, gloriosa casita del campo. <laughs> we do that in Spanish. And we tend to do that in English. But it's good, right? With the, with the process and with the practice, we learn how to say straight things, right? I want to make emphasis, right? I want to make emphasize. In this case, you say, I want to, I want to emphasize. I want to emphasize in Chalchuapa City because it is a little bit place inside of Santa Ana. Okay, because it is a, you don't say little bit place, you say it is a small mm -hmm. place in Santana, okay, in Santana, but that for the El Salvador is an is a emblematic place. And here we have we have this one, for example. But that, but that is, but that is, and then you have here is an emblematic because it's an a, a, a vowel, the next one. It's an mm -hmm. emblematic place in El Salvador. We're going to make it like that. Some people say, and here you stop with a period and you do the capital. Some people say that, cuando decimos que alguien dice que, some people say that the best dishes are in Chalchuapa City. For sure, that's the best thing. It's not that it's my, my city, but yeah. <laughs> also, we have, okay, and it says also we have two different emblematic old sculptures about the Mayas. They are not sculptures. They are called pyramids. Pyramids. Um. Also, we have two different emblematic old pyramids from the Mayas. Okay, porque son de ellos, de ellos provienen, right? From the Mayas. And the Mayas is a proper name, so it has to be capital. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, we, have, we have two emblematic old pyramids from the Mayas. Short, simple, to the point. We need to check more vocabulary. For example, what would be another word for emblematic? So you don't repeat emblematic two times. You can say iconic. Iconic, that are like very, very famous. Old pyramids from the Mayas, okay? But you survive, Eric, you survive. Let's see who's the next volunteer. <laughs> Christopher. Okay, siempre es importante. Allá en su WhatsApp hay un espacio abajo de su, de su nombre de, o de su imagen de perfil donde pueden poner su nombre. Pongan un nombre y un apellido all the time. It is very necessary. Okay, so here, let's go with the next volunteer that we have. Here uh, it says, dear Nati, welcome. <laughs> Thank you, I would say. <laughs> welcome to El Salvador. This is a tropical country with friendly people and beautiful landscapes, period, right? Ahí se acabó la idea, ponemos punto. In this country, and remember the capital letter at the beginning. In this country, you will enjoy the beach and typical dishes. Typical dishes, dishes, the beaches and typical dishes that change your point of view about the taste of food. And here it says, uh, well, you can visit many places that I think you like a lot. Okay. This last sentence. Okay. Si yo les preguntaría, ¿creen que esta última frase era necesaria? Vamos a ser analíticos ahorita. No. <laughs> when you say, well, you can visit many places that I think you like a lot. Do you think that goes with the paragraph? Tal vez si la pusiera en futuro. That you yes. will like a lot. Okay. 
But in that case, if you are inviting someone to enjoy something, you say, uh, you don't say well, because well, it is very common when you are answering a question. And you say like, do you think that you will like El Salvador? Well, I think that you will. And you can use it like that. But if you are talking about the food, let's get the first idea. Vámonos con la idea que traemos. In this country, you will enjoy the beaches and the typical dishes, dishes that change your point of view about the taste of food. You can close with something like, um, I am pretty sure that your stay will be memorable. Okay, and it changes the idea. You finish the paragraph, you close the subject, you close the idea, and you say the same. I am pretty sure that your stay will be memorable, that you will remember all the places that you will visit. Okay, that's the idea of English, and that's the importance of writing. Por eso les digo yo, al final del día, agarren un papel, agarren un cuaderno, tengan un cuaderno al final del día, y escriban qué pasó en su día. Well, today was a very great day, I did this and this, traffic was horrible, blah, 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 blah. And you might say like, ay, teacher, como que soy adolescente, que voy a tener diario. It is not about that, but it is about practicing writing, right? This exercise is good. I really love when you write, but in one notebook, agarran una libretita todos los días, y así como hacen el audio del día, Hagan el escrito del día. And then read it. Y después leanlo y díganle. Que, uy, no, ni yo me entiendo qué puse aquí. Ni, no, yo no me entiendo mi idea. So, with the days, it's going to be different. And it is going to be helpful in two ways, ¿ok? La psicología dice que si usted lo escribe, lo saca de su cabeza. Y puede ir a acostarse tranquilo y feliz. ¿Ok? Así que, si saca todos los problemas. Ay, el tráfico estuvo horrible. No, ay, mi jefe me regañó, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto. And then you can write it. Then you put it on paper. You leave it on the paper and you practice your English. Right? You practice your English and you help your brain. So every day, a little bit of writing every day. If you do the same things every day, try to get specific points. Hey, today I bought mango outside the office. Oh, I was very delicious. Right. And then oh, I saw my friend today and we say hello to each other. That was so beautiful to see him again. Right. Details but it's important. Let's check on the last one before we move on uh, the next category. The next ones I'm going to check them on WhatsApp. And here, uh, let me get a big one. Oh, let's, let's write about Argentina. Let's read about Argentina. I saw Argentina here. Oh, here it is. Okay, for us to know about it. Okay. That will be your last one. Argentina will be your last one for the day. And I will check on the rest on, on WhatsApp, okay? Ahí se lo voy a mandar corregidos. So here we go. Okay. Argentina. There we go. It says, look at this. Dear Nati, welcome. Welcome to Argentina. Is the World Cup winning country, right? Welcome to Argentina. And you can say in one sentence, the World Cup winning country, right? Because you, all, you have Argentina. Land of fantastic musicians like Gustavo Cerati from Soda Stereo and other bands like Rata Blanca or even artists like, like Bruce, I don't really know the name, Rap or Paulo Londra. Argentina is located in South America, right? South America. And it has a lot of beautiful places to visit like Buenos Aires, La Patagonia, right? Capital letter, remember? And Bariloche, there you go. It was a good paragraph then, just a couple of corrections, you see? It was very good, Dennis. Nice paragraph. Yeah, it was short, nice, and to the point, right? Welcome to Argentina. And here you can put a comma, right? The World Cup winning country, because that, that is like something that you want to specify, but it's not something like, a, I mean, it's just a highlight from 
the first subject that is in this case Argentina, land of fantastic musicians and the rest. It was a very good paragraph. So you see this exercise is really good for you to practice far from the speaking section, a little bit more on writing, okay? Are you going to keep writing every day, people? No, yes. I'm gonna try, I promise. Try, 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 and you will you will see the difference. You will see the I difference <laughs> on, on your every day. Do it, give the chance for a week. Give the chance for a week for you to do it every day and you will see the difference. Okay, let's move on on the following topic. I am going to go here on the book, right? On your manual, right? And yesterday we were talking about the different museums, right? The different places on um, Colombia, South Korea, and we were talking about Germany as well. And this was what we were doing yesterday. Here on uh, the one that says what happened, right? That is the second part. We have three different inventions. We have the popsicle, Velcro, and the post-it notes. Do you think those inventions are good and necessary in our lives? Yes, no, and why? The popsicle, Velcro, and the post-it notes. Do you think they are necessary? They are good? Uh -huh. Or just like, nah. My dear people. I use post-it, not it. You use post-its, okay. Yes, I use and very. I use them a lot as well, right? The post-it notes. And many people say that they are called post-its. It's like, dame un post-it, dame un post-it. The name post-it is the name of the trade, right? It's la marca, post-it. But it's like post on it. It's like write on it. But the names are, the name of these are sticky notes, right? They are sticky notes for you to use. What about the Velcro? Do you think that it's a very good invention? Yes or no? I have no idea what is Velcro. Velcro. Let me it see. The, cup. the one that the, the one cup. that you can. <laughs> I, I don't think I have something with Velcro right now here. But it's, it's, uh -huh. the cup. Okay, yeah, on the cups. When you say like Rah! for you to, to close and there you go. Look at example. That's Velcro. It's here, teacher. Yeah, that's the Velcro. It is is showing the Velcro, right? There you go. <laughs> it is for, necessary. it is necessary. Many shoes, for example, the shoes that are made for kids, they have Velcro just for you mm -hmm. to close and open and they don't have to tie their shoes. In they, our country, I think it's called um, Mozote. Mozote, yes. <laughs> it is called Mozote <laughs> as well. It is Mozote, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. It is Mozote. Hey, thank you, Alejandro, my dear tourism secretary <laughs> I, love <laughs> I love your paragraph listen to this paragraph. i'm sorry I, i'm i'm sorry to be late teacher but um i have a a, a, a neighbor who who was um called called to my door so ah, I, no, I, knocking. I i yes knocking my door so i lost all um, everything that i was uh, writing so oh, I'm sorry, sorry but sorry. I, I have to write again. Thank and, you. And I and and I and I try to don't don't do trampa. So <laughs> so, I am very slowly to write. No, that's okay. okay. That's okay. I tried not to not to cheat on it. You say like not to, to make I tried not to cheat cheat on cheat. it. Okay. You say like cheat is like C H E A T. Cheat. When you say, okay, Oh, cheat. you cheater, there's like cheater, yes. haciendo trampa, right? Good, okay. that's the name. Okay, so that's a Velcro, mozote, right? It is very necessary in our everyday life. The popsicle. Do you like ice cream or popsicles, people? Yes, teacher. Yes. Like yes. Do you like ice cream? Raise your hand it, if you it, like it's, ice cream. It's similar to Siberianos. <laughs> popsicles son todos los tipos de paletas heladas. 
Those are popsicles. And uh, the lollipops are paletas de dulce, right? Paletas de dulce are lollipops. And Popsicle. popsicles are paletas heladas. Good. All the types of, aun que mete usted la soda a la refri con un tenedor, that's a popsicle. <laughs> Mangoneadas? Yeah, the mangoneadas, the all, the, the milk thing, everything, it's popsicle. Las caramucas, teacher. Well, I think it, it counts as a popsicle, but the idea of a popsicle is that it has the stick, right? La idea del popsicle es que tiene el palito. And the charamuscas are like kind of a snack, a cold snack. And, and, and what about the chocobananos? Uh, well, that would be, that would be like, no, I think that would be chocobananos or chocobananos, right? A banana covered with chocolate. <laughs> what a boring name for that. Choco banana. It's kind of a popsicle as well, right? So the popsicle was invented in 1905. The Velcro was invented in 1948 and the Postic in 1970. I need you to think about one invention that you consider special and necessary. What will it be? One invention that you say, ah, no, teacher, that that is the best thing on earth. I love it. What is the best invention? What is the best invention for you? For me, for example, Zoom. Zoom is a great invention, oh. right? Because I said like, how do you imagine before, imagine there in 2000, what? In 2001, how was I going to imagine to have 30 different people from different parts of El Salvador in the same place enjoying an English class at the same time. And I said, and you can be anywhere in the world, anywhere, and you can do it and you can connect. I mean, there are no frontiers, there are no limits, there are no time zones, countries, whatever, there's nothing. It's just connection. So that's for me, that's the best invention. Think about a great invention that we have had. And I am going to give you around two or three minutes for you to discuss with some friends, okay? You are going to have groups of three and you are going to talk with your friends about one invention that you consider amazing, okay? One invention that you consider unique. For me, for me it's, it's <laughs> Uh, for sure the washing machine yes oh my god yeah <laughs> so, the internet yeah and all the yeah the washing machine it's a huge thing thank you very much thank you to the one who invented it yes washing and, machine gave us uh gay 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 off to the man Freedom. <laughs> gave your freedom to the men. Yeah. Definitely. It gave freedom yeah. to the men because you can do your things like I can wash my own yes. clothes. Yes. Tick, 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 so. tick, tick, tick. <laughs> and that's it, right? Yeah. Okay. Talk talk about this with your friends for a couple of minutes and then I will get some volunteers here in the room. Okay. Four or three members on each group. The best invention for you. So you can all give your opinion. Let's go to the <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Accept my invitations. Thank you. If you have issues with the invitation, let me know. Thank you. Dina, Ronald, Nadia. Yes. I, I I can stay in Yes. Okay. Dina. Oh, okay. Dina Elizabeth, uh, did you get the invitation for the groups? Te digo la invitación, Dina. No. Dinita. I have Dina back. Oh, 
Hola, Dina. La tengo. Teacher me sacó. La tengo dos veces. Ok, here we go. Thank you. You're welcome. There you go. Okay, so we are going to get ready with the attendance. And then I am going to have them coming back and share what they have been talking about in the little groups. Okay, let's go and visit a couple of groups right now. The television. <laughs> because you don't worry, you can see all kinds of movies you want. Um, but I think that the internet is the most important because today uh, the computers or television don't have the same function mm -hmm. without internet. So I think that things are important. Yes, you're right because. Ah, also the apps that you can use because some apps can be easy for use for the people like a Zoom, Next. Um, yes. TV, TV novels, novelas. <laughs> soap operas, you say. Soap oh, operas. Soap, op hmm? soap, soap operas. Ah. Okay. Soap operas. Soap operas. That is novelas. Soap operas. Ah, soap opera. Ah. Or you can say, well, if it is a Korean thing or something, it's a dorama, right? Mm. Doramas. Doramas are the ones that are from all this. Korea thing, Korean. Or you can say serious. Serious. Ser now the, the soap operas are like little serious. Right. Miss, what, what series do you like? Do you ah. like to watch? <laughs> you know, I like to, to see this like like crim criminal investigation series that are like, for example, I love to watch things like uh, Criminal Minds. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> it is like because they analyze cases and all these things. I also like uh, classic things like very like normal series like Friends or The Big Bang Theory or uh, The Nanny or things like those. I, I love this classic series, The Simpsons. <laughs> I love The Simpsons. <laughs> yes. So I am, I am very varied at the moment of, of watching series. I love to watch movies. As I have a kid, I have seen all the cartoon movies that you can imagine. I know all of them. <laughs> so that's that's basically what I like to watch. And Betty La Fea, right? I saw it <laughs> already. <laughs> Quien no ha visto Betty La Fea no ha tenido infancia. <laughs> yeah, Betty, Betty La Fea is always in the top of Sabor, right? Yeah. Netflix. Yeah, you see? Well, now it's not in, in Netflix anymore. Now it's just in Amazon. Oh. Yeah, they remove it from Netflix and all the things in Netflix went down. So Netflix was the reason was Betty La Fea. <laughs> so that's that's what I like to watch basically. What about you? What do you like to watch on on TV? Mm, uh, I like so much a series uh, called uh, Breaking Bad. Oh, Breaking Bad is good. Uh -huh. Breaking Bad, uh, also Better Call Saul. Uh, it's a spin-off from uh, Breaking Bad. Um, let me see. Well, um, all the time I, I like I like to watch uh, uh, music videos. Music okay. videos. Yeah. You like music videos? Very good. So let's go back to the main room and let's. Uh, Let's share with everybody. Let's go back to the first room. Let's go. Okay.
Okay, people, welcome hello, back. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. <laughs> How are you? Okay, it was nice to listen to you sharing with your classmates about the things that you like and all the different inventions that uh, we have and that we take good advantage of them. You know what's curious about that you say, I love the TV, the washing machine, you, I love this and that, and all these uh, inventions are nice. But I think the top one is electricity. Because if we don't have electricity, all these apps don't work. The internet doesn't work, right? Anything works God, without. God, God have in his glory to Nikola Tesla. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, we, were, we were so lucky to have him. <laughs> yes, <Teacher. laughs> yeah. yes, mister. Are you going to do the attendance? Right now, I am going to call the attendance right now. I was going to mention it that uh, now that we came back from the rooms, I am going to call the attendance. And let me see. Remember when you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? And as well, remember to send the uh, comprobante, right? It's very important to do it today. Okay. Here we go. Teacher, perdón. Yeah. ¿Qué capítulo del libro vimos? Uh, section two. We were talking about unit uh, two, right? Well, unit 12 in this case, right? We were talking okay. about the inventions, the inventions. Aloha Colombina. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Alejandro Jose. Present teacher, don't forget to read my Letter teacher, please. I, I will, I will. Uh, okay. Alicia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Ana. Present. Andrea Geraldine. Present teacher. Andrea Michelle. Present. Blanca Marisol. Boris Martin. Here teacher. Brian Isaac. Present. Denis Isaías. Present teacher. Daisy Carolina. Present teacher. Tina Elizabeth. Present teacher. Elba Carolina. Present teacher. Eric Ernesto. Here teacher. Erika Maidel. Present teacher. Francisco Alberto. Present teacher, here. Iris Regina. Is here teacher. Jenny Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jessica Janet. Jose Eraivin. Present teacher. Juan Eduardo. Katia Graciela. Present teacher, good evening. And I arrived in the, the WhatsApp group because I don't feel very well. Yes, I, I read and, it. I read it. And I write my letter in the chat group. Okay, thank you. I will I will check the ones on the WhatsApp group at the end of the class, okay? Maritza Elizabeth? Maritza Isabel, sorry. Present teacher. I am changing your name. Come on. Miguel Angel? Present teacher. Eh, Nadia Isolina? Present teacher. Thank you. Noemi Alicia? Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo de Jesus? Mr. Ricardo de Jesus? Ronald Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Sara Naida. Vidal. Present teacher. Thank you very much. And that's it. Okay. I saw Ricardito here. What happened with him? Se me perdió. Okay. So my dear class, remember. Remember, it is very important, right? De todos los que estaban en el listado de enviar el comprobante, eh, envíenlo, porfa, mañana es último día. Así que, porfa, 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 eh, envíenlo, ¿ok? Envíen su comprobante. Es muy importante que lo tengamos para que lo podamos, eh, que puedan tener eso ya ustedes. Igual les enviaron la información para que se vayan inscribiendo desde ya en el siguiente módulo. Así que, porfa, no dejemos eso para último momento. Es importante que ustedes hagan mm. esos trámites a tiempo y rápido. Okay, so keep it in mind for, uh, for tomorrow. Yes, Noemi. Perdón. 
no sé si yo tengo equivocado el libro, pero la sección 2 me parece esto. Ok, let me check it. I will, I will go here. What happened? It says. The name of the section is what happened. Oh, my, it's because my book, it's, it's a different edition, right? Yo tengo una edición oh. distinta, pero es el mismo libro. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's true. The name of the unit, okay. ¿Qué, ¿qué nombre tiene su unidad? It's really worth, it's really worth cheating. Ah, no, that's the first one. Let's go with the next one. Esta es la uno y esta es la unidad dos. Yeah. Okay, good. No, but it's the same book. Don't worry. <laughs> it's the same book. Okay. Okay. It's the same book. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. So that it's unit 12. Unit 12. Okay. Es la 12. Es la 12. Okay. Have a wonderful night, my dear class. I am going to see you tomorrow for the second uh, class. The second. The next class of our week. The third class of our week. And for sure, keep on practicing, okay? I am going to check on the uh, paragraphs that you send me and I am going to be answering over the same message for your mistakes, okay? Have a wonderful night and I'm going to see you tomorrow for your next See class. you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, you. teacher. Bye -bye. See you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Have a beautiful night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.